Braking is the action of slowing or stopping the car using the foot brake. The objective of this video is to teach you the correct method of braking the car. This video will demonstrate how to brake to either slow the car to a target speed or to stop the car at a targeted point at low speed. To slow down or stop the car, both the foot brake and engine brake should be used. Depress the foot brake early and firmly before reducing the pressure on the foot brake slightly till you reach the target speed or place to stop. The engine brake is activated by releasing the accelerator. The amount of pressure to apply on the foot brake depends on the speed and the distance to stop or slow the car. You should apply more pressure on the foot brake if there is a shorter distance to slow or stop the car or if the difference between your speed and the target speed is greater. Before slowing down the car, check the rear view mirrors to ensure that it is safe to do so. Release the accelerator to use engine braking to slow down the car. Depress the foot brake to slow down the car to the target speed. To stop the car, look for a safe place to stop. Check the rear view mirror to ensure that it is safe to stop as you are nearing the target place to stop. Release the accelerator to use engine braking to slow down the car. Depress the foot brake to stop the car. You should depress the foot brake early and firmly before reducing the pressure on the brakes lightly till the car comes to a stop. Now that you have completed the video, please answer the quiz questions that follow. There will be five multiple choice questions. After the questions and options are shown, you will be given five seconds to answer each question. Quiz questions. One, when you release the accelerator, which braking effect takes place? A engine brake B intermittent brake C emergency brake A engine brake 2 under what circumstances does a driver need to apply more pressure on the foot brake to stop the car A the driver is driving at a lower speed B. The stopping distance is longer. C. The stopping distance is shorter. C. The stopping distance is shorter. 3. Which of the following describes the correct procedure to slow the car? A. Release the accelerator, check the rear view mirror and depress the foot brake. B. Check the rear view mirror, release the accelerator and depress the foot brake. C. Check the rear view mirror, depress the foot brake and release the accelerator. B. Check the rear view mirror, release the accelerator and depress the foot brake. 4. Which of the below describes the correct braking technique to stop the car? A. Apply more pressure when you first start to brake and less pressure when the car is about to stop. B. Apply less pressure when you first start to brake and more pressure when the car is about to stop. C. Apply the same amount of pressure from the time you start to brake till the time the car is about to stop. A. Apply more pressure when you first start to brake and less pressure when the car is about to stop. 5. Which of the below statements about braking is true? A. You can use the handbrake to stop a car which is travelling at a low speed. B. 
apply more pressure on the foot brake if the difference between your speed and the target speed is greater. C. You must check the right blind spot before stopping the car. B. Apply more pressure on the foot brake if the difference between your speed